सो आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच ऑल द एपिसोड इन दिस सीरीज इफ नॉट डू वॉच दैम एंड एट लीस्ट वॉच द वीडियो ऑन लैम्बर्ड सूचर बिकॉज देन यू हैव अ बेटर ग्रैस ऑफ दिस एपिसोड सो फेलो सर्जन्स ट्रेनीज एप यूजर्स गेट रेडी टू इमर्स योर सेल्फ इन दी वर्ल्ड ऑफ क्यूशिंग एंड कॉर्न सूचर्स इन एटीन एटी सिक्स सर क्यूशिंग डिस्क्राइब दिस कंटिन्यूस सीरो मस्कुलर सूचर and you have to understand it is the same suture as the lambert only thing is that it takes bites parallel to the incision line so again uh, in lambert we uh, take bites through the serosa muscularis propria and through the part of submucosa similarly in cushing these uh, parts are taken and we don't penetrate the mucosa so we don't enter into the lumen of gut we are trying to anastomose four years later in 1890 Sir Gregory Connell described this Connell suture. This is through and through interrupted inverting suture placed from the outside on the interior layer, but the, with the notch inside. So, friends, uh, just remember in I mean in today's practical world, we use this Connell suture while we are doing the hand sewn anastomosis, and uh, as such, you can well imagine that it is very difficult to. take exact bite so that you don't enter the mucosa and you are staying in the submucosa and you are also ensuring that you are always taking the part of submucosa so i mean in practical life as we also practice we take this as conal and again always remember i am repeating myself that in any intestinal anastomosis you have to take the bite through the submucosa because it is the strongest layer Uh, the sheep intestine um, submucosa is the source of cat gut and you can well imagine the strength that uh, strength that you can make uh, ligature through the submucosa uh, the cat gut derived from the submucosa so always make sure that you take part of the submucosa in your bite and then you will have a lesser chance of leak and so on the same lines uh, if we try to navigate the needle so i mean delicately that we are taking some mucosa in thin gut and not taking the uh, mucosa so you may miss so practically as i said we always go with the conal suture conal suture or cushing suture for that matter uh, provides a good uh, apposition good tissue inversion and provides a reliable leak proof leak proof seal so the cushing suture goes through its rosa Uh, the muscularis propria and some mucosa but it doesn't penetrate the mucosa so the i mean the suture material is not exposed to the intestinal content and that may be the genesis at that time that they uh, they may have they may be thinking that we should avoid going through the contaminated uh, contents and that may lead to infection but as we know in today's world we are using better sutures uh, we are using uh, monofilament sutures so we always go through the uh, mucosa through and through and we are uh, using the conal suture in practical purpose from this uh, pictorial depiction just understand the anatomy of this suture so the bites are taken parallel to the incision line we stay approximately 5 mm away from the incision length and we progress 5 mm or 4 mm for that matter whatever you feel comfortable 4 to 5 mm and we are not going through the uh, mucosa and we are taking always taking part of the submucosa it is a repetition of talk that conal suture extend into the lumen and mucosa is always taken in the bite of the suture so this is the pictorial depiction again it is the same cushing suture uh, and conal suture they are same except that in the conal we have taken bite through and through and mucosa is taken uh, you will understand better as we demonstrate it uh, in the uh, surgery and in addition to intestinal anastomosis these uh, perfect opposing inverting sutures can be used for urinary bladder and uterus also so let's start with the demonstration on suturing aids so this is our surgical canvas which we have discussed in the first part and i hope all of you have already made this canvas and this is uh, lying somewhere in a good corner of your house where you visit at least once in a day especially in the beginning part of your uh, surgical career and uh, friends do believe me that this will help you to refine your skills a lot so in cushing suture friends as i discuss that we go parallel to the incision and we are not going through and through these are bit thicker pads and i mean uh, in practical life intestine is not that much thick and you stay superficial so we have not taken part of the uh, mucosa so we are just ensuring that uh, we have not gone through and through and then again we reverse the stitch again we take a parallel stitch 
and uh, this is on the opposite side so this will be a Kushing Sutra so in this part we are going directly slow so that you understand and again we stay approximately 5 mm away from the uh, boon margin and we take a bite of 4 to 5 mm so 3 mm is good you should practice with 3 to 4 mm bites i mean the distance between two bites should be 3 to 4 mm and don't strangulate don't tighten it too much you have to just approximate the tissue in the uh, beginning part of your learning uh, trainees tend to over tighten it so assuming that it will provide more strength that's not true you have to just oppose the tissue and it will heal beautifully so here you can observe that it has given a very good inversion so continuing with that now we are demonstrating the this uh, corner suture so here we have again gone through and through we enter the part of the uh, inside the gut lumen and then we again we are coming back so it is a parallel suture and uh, as i said the basic difference between the two these two technique is that we are uh, taking part of the uh, mucosa in corneal suture and in a similar fashion we will go other side and friends i mean how to hold the needle how to uh, use the wrist movements we have already discussed and if you are somebody who has just entered into the field of surgery do watch this whole series uh, and uh, that will uh, help you uh, to have a smooth induction in this uh, field of suturing and again uh, basically the first year trainee or somebody who is just joining the surgery is the center of inverse for us and these videos are not meant for uh, uh, surgical pros uh, if you are already a seasoned surgeon then you may not find uh, these videos relevant to you so again we have taken this interrupted corneal suture and it will invert beautifully as you can see now we will demonstrate the uh, these uh, continuous uh, corneal suture how to start and how to end so friends before we dive uh, deeper into the continuous suture how to start how to end the corneal suture uh, i have an exciting uh, news for you guys especially the new members uh, new viewers who have joined us so uh, are you hungry for exclusive content personalized guidance and sporty community of surgical enthusiasts look no further than our youtube channel membership these uh, membership you will have a premium access access to all the content especially the live surgery videos which we are not uh, i mean uploading on youtube as a free content and uh, we have designed this uh, series these basically uh, different playlists to take your surgical journey to new heights when you become a member you gain access to wealth of benefits crafted specifically to nurture growth and becoming a member is simple just click on the join button below this video and choose the membership tier that resonate with your learning journey join the membership or download the app the link for everything is waiting for you in description of this video uh, i hope we were able to add some new insight to your knowledge do practice and uh, you have to keep practicing and keep i mean modifying these techniques these are simple uh, i mean guidelines for you so uh, remember friends uh, every stitch you make will bring you closer to the mastery and keep practicing and uh, as i said for all the premium access for all the premium videos do download the app and join our telegram group, al group also for all the updates and discussion the link for everything is available in the description and pinned comment section of this video we wish you a happy suturing, happy intestinal anastomosis, leak-proof intestinal anastomosis once and always. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you very much. Happy learning.